American Underdog, one of the better sports films I've seen. This movie came out December 25th, uh, Christmas Day, 2021, uh, last year, and I decided to watch it. I am a big football guy, so I was interested in this film, and it's based off the real-life story of Kurt Warner, a Hall of Famer for both the NFL and uh, the Indoor Football League as well. But we're here to talk about the movie, which also ties in with the real life person as well. So the the movie came about with the book, which was written by Kurt Warner on his life, and uh, Lionsgate did the to the production of this movie. And it was it was a low budget film. It came it looked low budget from the trailers, um, but I had I and uh, my other uh, friend watched it together, and we were actually pleasantly pleasantly surprised by it. Oh, the movie itself is almost two hours long and on IMDb, 7.2 out of 10 out of 8.5 thousand ratings. Uh, The opening weekend, it got 5.8 million and so far has grossed 26.5 million. Now, this is this is a better sports movie than some I've seen. Um, I've seen a few a few sports movies, and this was one of the better ones. Uh, It did, you know, almost make me cry. (laughs) So, you know, it's it's good when that almost happens. I said almost, but. I'm just going to give it to you right now. The movie is a B plus for me from a purely story level. It's pretty good. And they almost, they got pretty much like I'd say 90 to 95% accurate of what really happened with Kurt Warner's life and him, his football and his uh, family uh, with his wife, which is a very uh, sad, but happy story at the same time, because Kurt Warner was a man of uh, deep Christianity and he tied that in with football and his wife helped realize him realized it as well. Now I do have like one or two knacks on this movie. It ended. I thought it ended way too soon. Uh, if you know the real life story, uh, he went and he won a Super Bowl. And so far, I think is the only undrafted quarterback to win a Super Bowl, which is crazy. But uh, they literally made five minutes for the Super Bowl. And that was it. I mean, sure, you want to get the rest of his life before the Super Bowl. But I think they should have put more emphasis on uh, the Super Bowl he won, which was 34 versus the Tennessee Titans, which is one of the more fantastic Super Bowls. Uh, they won Kurt Warner's team, the Rams, won against the uh, Tennessee Titans, uh, six, 23 to 16. So I thought they should have put a little bit more emphasis on it. That would have been nice as a football fan. But as a story, it's pretty good. Uh, if you're not too much into football and you just want a heartfelt story, I would totally suggest this movie. So uh, Zachary Levi is the main role as Kurt Warner, which is kind of funny because we've seen him as Shazam from the DC movie. And I thought I thought that was a funny movie. But yeah, so it was... It was pretty, pretty accurate to the real story, and that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It was just a solid uh, sports film. I'd suggest it. Maybe I'd want to watch it again. So watchability, probably a second time. It's good to watch. So that's pretty much it. Godspeed.